to Board Game Empire. Today we're going to be doing a how to play and playthrough of Wild Serengeti. Okay, this is a um, really fun game and it's really easy to learn actually. There's a, we, um, you do have to play it at least once through to really um, get a good grasp so you actually can play a really good strategy on this game. The first, get, your first game will be more of a learning experience, but um, it's not like that it's hard, it's just that it's kind of like chess in a way the, that you're maneuvering your animals. They have to be in the right location, in the right um, position as far as um, how they're in, I guess in, what's, what would be the word I'm trying to use, in association with each other. Um, so it's a lot of planning your moves ahead a few times, based on your scene cards to get the animals in the correct location that you need to gain points. So there is a ton of strategy to this game. The only luck part of it is the cards you draw, but even that is um, reduced because you can have plenty of opportunity to choose between six cards or get rid of those and bring six more cards. So um, even it's not really, in my opinion, that luck based because there's a large opportunity to get good cards every time. I mean, there's a, it's a huge deck of cards to choose from on your scene cards. Um, and there's, and then when you get it played in six rounds, and then when you get to fourth, fifth, and sixth round, there's even more, um, it kind of gets more exciting because there's thing called that great movement and you draw all these migration cards that basically decides which animals you take off the board and put back into their habitat. So say you've been working on a goal trying to get a particular pattern going of animals um, and you didn't, you weren't able to complete it during the round. At the beginning of round four, that's when the great migration start at the beginning of every round to the end of the game. So if you didn't complete your goals, there's a decent chance that animal that you'd already placed and you know positioned and moved to get there may not be there so it adds a little bit more excitement and um, a variability to the game another way to um, make the game different after you've learned the game there these cards are called specialist cards and um, basically it gives each player an additional ability that adjust, that controls their scoring a little bit. It gives them a little bit of an edge in scoring if they can complete that goal. So you basically start out, you draw three of these. Um, you choose one and put the other two back in the box. So mine is, I'm the botanist. I gain, and the, the way you win the game is through, um, what are they called again? Discovery. Uh, Oh, documentary points. I keep wanting to call it discovery. But this is your documentary point tracker. Basically, you're trying to film animal documentaries. And these you have cards that are certain scenes that you need to complete to get points. So that's, and your tokens are these little um, cameras. So basically, I get documentary points depending on the number of scene cards in my video gallery and the video gallery all it is is this little bar that looks like a on the bottom of like a VCR or a CD player people probably don't know what a VCR is anymore huh <laughs> CD player <laughs> um, it's got like a play button pause button and um, stop button so you just put that in your tableau and you place your completed scene cards above it and the scene cards you're working on below it. Um, so that's what that's meaning. Cards that I've completed, I get a bonus. If I have 20 to 22 cards, I get an additional 20 points that I can move my token on the discovery or documentary points. I'll probably call it discovery like a hundred times, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, so you start out with a color token of your choice. There's green, yellow, blue, and red. You get two tokens. One goes on the zero part of score for the documentary points, 
and one is used to show what action you're going to do on this action board. There are eight different actions you could take. You could take one action per turn, except for um, if you pay more coins. Coins is how you pay for actions in this game. If you want to pay additional coins, you're able to take only one additional action per turn, but only a max of two. So you would just place your token in one of the open spaces on that action and you'll notice there's little lock tokens on the discovery where you discover animals um, based on how many players if there are four players they would all be open but three players or less there's only one space open in each of these and what that means say i was here and i had discovered a carnivore and all that means is you're choosing one of these animals a lion leopard or alligator they're the carnivores to place them on the map. Um, but say Anthony wanted to, it was his turn next, and he really wanted to get a carnivore as well. So he can still go there. He puts his action token there, but he has to pay instead of one coin, he pays two coins because it's technically, that space is not open. But if he wants to pay an additional coin to take that action, he's more than welcome to. Um, so that's, the only limitation as far as placing your action tokens um, that and you can only take one or two if you pay an additional coin so if you wanted to take two actions in your turn you pay your additional your initial one token or coin to play your basic action then if you wanted to take another action during that same turn you would then have to pay two additional coins so it would be a total of three coins to take two actions i hope i explained that well okay um so you have your, oh, thank you. And you do start the game out with six tokens. So you have, here are your eight actions. This is the action board. You could see each animal is in their own habitat. Um, this one, I've already said these, this is the giraffe, elephants, and rhinoceroses. They are the large mammals. You have your scavengers, which are the vultures, the wildebeests, and the hyenas. Then you have the gazelles, the zebras, and make sure I'm getting the names right of these animals, and the jackals and the herbivores. So you're basically, your scene cards will have certain animals on them. And there's three kind of scene cards but I'll get to those in a minute. So here's your eight actions. You go here to discover an animal, which is, means you take that animal of your choice from whichever habitat you're sitting on, place it somewhere on the map. Um, you can swap positions with an animal, and what that means, any two animals on the board, if one was here and one was here, you can just switch them. Um, move an animal one to three spaces, so you can move them, you cannot move them diagonally, but you can move them orthogonally, so vertical or horizontal. So you don't have to move three, it's up to three, anywhere from one to three spaces. But you could go like up one to the right one and up, just not diagonal. Um, take one card from the scene card pool. Um, we haven't put those out yet, but we put out six cards from the scenes. And that is basically your draw pool of, of the scene cards that you get to choose from. You pay a coin um, to take one, but if you wanted to take additional cards, there's no limit as long as you have enough coins. You pay one coin per card. So that is one exception to the basic actions where you could only do two. In this instance, you can buy, if you had five coins, you could buy five cards for one coin each. Then the last action is renew scene card pull and take one card. So, and remember, each of these actions cost one coin um, to do. So, what the renew a scene card pull means, you discard all six of those, draw six more new ones, and you take one from that, from the new pool. And each time someone takes a scene card, you replace it with a new one. Um, and at the end of each round, you're also going to be renewing all the cards. So they will all go away and you put out six more. So there's that's what takes the luck out because there's constantly 
new cards showing up and there's six at a time and it's a huge stack. So you'll get a, a lot of opportunities to get a really good card. Um, so now I'm gonna go over the different types of scene cards. There's adjacency scene. And what that means is the animals need to be near each other within a, so you've got your main animal and this one is the lion. He's the, the main objective. So say you have the lion right here and you need the, then you need two jackals to be adjacent to him. And they don't have to be in that same position, but like the card makes it look like, looks like they need to be like lion, jackal, jackal. But honestly, as long as the two jackals are anywhere in this, in this grid of nine around, if they're beside, in front of, behind, diagonal to the lion, they could be like that, they could be like that, as long as they are adjacent. That one you can do diagonally. So that makes it a little easier, but you also have to look at the terrain. The lion needs to be on water, and one of the jackals needs to be on the grasslands. So that's the trees, grasslands, water, and then there's rock. There's four different terrains. You gotta pay attention to those little circles. So in this instance, I have the line on water, like it's showing on the card. And uh, one of, only one of the jackals needs to be in the grasslands. The other one does not have an icon underneath it, so it could be anywhere. So this jackal needs to be on one of these three spots. And then this jackal could be anywhere in that, in that grid. So that's one type of, um, oh, dominoes. <laughs> I knocked all the lions over. Okay, so another type of scene card is the terrain scene. These are actually really simple because they don't require you to have your animals near each other. They just have to be on the right terrain. So this one is water and rock. And to tell you, you don't have to go by the color. It's got the little icon for water or rock under there. So you just need to have a vulture on any of the water spaces. They're all right here. And another vulture on any of the rocks. And they're here. There's no rocks on this side. And here. So the rocks are all kind of in this area intermingled. So those are actually fairly simple to, to complete. Then you have your straight line scene. Those animals have to be in the same order. They don't have to, they could go facing either way, left or right, but they just need to be in that order. Like it's a hyena, a leopard, a hyena. It has to be in that order. Um, so, and the only one that's you have to worry about the terrain they're on is the leopard has to be on water. So the two hyenas could be anywhere. So it would be two hyenas and a leopard. The leopard has to be on water. So as long as they are in that order, you're good. Or they could be this way. They just can't be diagonal. These have to be horizontal or vertical. So in that instance, they could either be this way or this way. That's your, your limited. But that would, you would score and get, if there's a, I'll show you here in just a second. And basically what you gain, if it's an immediate gain, it's on the bottom of the card here. This one, you get to draw a card from the scene deck. So this one is the same. Some of them have these funky math equations, <laughs> which look hard when you look at them, but they're actually very simple. That's, on, that's a rare. You can see that icon in the upper right. It's a diamond. There's only five rare cards in, entire, in the entire deck, but they're very valuable. This one, what you gain, you gain these rewards immediately on completion. You multiply the number of rare icons you have in your completed cards by three. So if I only had this one, the number would be three. And then you add nine to it. So I would get 12 documentary points if I complete this scene and I would move my action token to 12. 
If I had more than one rare, which is rare because there's only five of them, I would multiply two by that three, which would give me six points and add the nine to it, which would be 15 points. So these are very valuable. And um, you would just have to complete that straight line scene. And they are more difficult because these, every animal on that card has a scene, uh, scene not scene, terrain requirement. So they all need to be in the grasslands and in that order to get that rare card. Another icon, icons are um, can help you score big at the end of the game, is the hearts. They're in the upper right corner. And your um, player A card is very helpful. So you're trying to collect as many hearts as you can. On your player A card, it shows you if you have three of these icons in your completed scene um, video documentary, you will get seven additional documentary points at the end of the game. If you have 10 of them, you get 45 additional points. That could be a game changer. That could literally win the game for you if you had 10 of these hearts in your completed scenes. And the way you do it, you just stack them as you complete them, um, keep the icons together. I was gonna show you a few more key ones. You just keep your icons together so when you get those cards that want you to calculate or um, at the end of the game, it'll be easy to just count one, two, three. I've got three hearts. That's seven additional um, discovery points. Then you've got your plants. There's the, the leaves, the flowers, and there's cherries. I don't have a cherry out here. There's um, math equations is what I call them on the bottom of these cards based on how many of a certain icon you have. Some of them give you a choice. You could pick one of the three. Um, but some of them kind of it feels like they're working against you because it requires you to add up the m number of icons you have of like the plants, divide by two, and then add a certain number to it. So to me, that feels like a penalty. But um, some of them you just gain straight up documentary points like that that three stars is three wow. mo this, three spaces this is also part of the uh counts as one animal of the war animal type for the war ceremonies yeah i was getting to that uh -huh. <laughs> i haven't got that far uh -huh. yet okay so you can see there's there's those icons then you have your food and sfx icons you get these are the tokens that help you in the game the food icons you place, and these are free actions. You do not have to use a coin or an action to use these. Say this uh, rhinoceros is here, but I really want this guy right here. You can't use these to move him diagonally. I could get a free action and move him to that spot. Any one space vertically or horizontally. The SFX tokens are even cooler. They allow you to ignore the required terrain. So say this rhinoceros, like here on this card, he's required to be on water, but he's all the way over here on the grasslands. And but I've and say I've got all the other animals right there, and it would take a lot to move all those over here. So if everything's in the right spot except for the rhinos on the wrong terrain, I can put that SFX token down. Bam, he's on oh, water. You put it on the card, so it indicates that it's. Uh no terrain. Oh, okay. Well, he's on water then. So that means I've if I have these on the right terrains, I've completed that scene and I get the reward of three uh, documentary points. So if you, these others, these, if they have a red background, some of them have the food and SFX down here that you, that one doesn't, but some of them do have it to where you, like I have one here. I gain the food immediately, and that's a one-time reward. If you have them um, in icons on the upper right with a red background, that is an ongoing reward. For every one of those you have, you gain one at the end of every, at the end of the round. That's called round preparation, as you're preparing for the next round. For every food icon and SFX token with the red background you have in your completed scene cards. You get, you get that every round. So that could really help you to be able to move these animals where you need them. Cause you only get, um, 
six coins, so it's kind of limiting. And then when everyone passes, that's when each round moves or ends, when everyone passes. And you can't pass if you have four more coins, but you can pass if you just don't want to do an action. You don't have to do an action. But if you have four more coins, you do have to do some sort of action. But if you have three or less, you can pass if you don't, don't want to do any more that round. But once you pass, you're done for that round and it keeps going until everyone passes. Okay, and then you also have your round tracker. So there's six rounds. Um, is that a pelican? I know. He's called the round tracker. Um, so he starts out on round one, obviously. This is the Rock of Ages. So each round you get a certain amount of coins, which is depicted on there. You move them each round and then you see at round four, you've got these little award tiles. You randomly pick them out and put them on there at the beginning of the game. So our first award ceremony will be at the beginning of round four for the rhinoholic. So what you do, the person with the most rhinos gets the amount of rhinos they have times two documentary points. The second place player gets a point for each rhino they have in their completed scene collection. And what that means is you look on all your scenes that you've completed and you literally just count the rhinos on them. So if, if these were my completed scene cards, I would have one, two, three rhinos plus any animal prints you have also count as an animal for the award tiles. So I would actually have five rhinos with those two animal prints. So I would be, if I was in first place, I would get 10 documentary points because it's five of, of the number you have of that required animal times two. So those award tiles really do help you out a lot. Then in the fifth round, you don't have an award, but the beginning of the sixth round is our next reward. And it's the zebra maniac, same thing. First place is the most amount of zebras in their completed scene cards times two. Second place, they just get one point for each uh, animal in their completed scenes with that, each scene card with that animal on it. Um, and you just literally count them. Some of them have two, like some would have two rhinos. It's, it's every, every, it doesn't matter if there's more than one on the card, you count all of them. So, I've done the likes, the plants, the, I think I've covered all the icons, actions. Am I missing anything? Mm -hmm. Oh, the Great Migration. I didn't uh, even show yeah. that. These are the Great Migration cards. I swear we'll start playing soon. This is the last thing. <laughs> so at the beginning of the fourth, fifth, and sixth round, you draw one of these during the round preparation phase. And you can see it kind of looks like a... Uh, a game of checkers. <laughs> so in a three player game, you only pay attention to the brown squares. In a four player game, you have to remove everything both that's on the blue and brown squares. So you put this in the same position as the board and I would remove every animal that's located on a corresponding square with the brown, the brown block. So, as you can see, that's a lot of animals that would be taken off the board at the beginning of round four. So, if you needed any of those and you were working towards a goal on a sting card, it's going to re really stink if we take those animals off. But that's, that's a lot that you remove. Uh, make sure to you have the card angled the right direction, too, so you're not removing the, the wrong card right. characters. Right. You have to turn it because it has a compass on it, so you know which direction it goes. And I do the same thing, honestly, on these, some of these scene cards, I will turn them to help me so then they're, so they're in the same position as the board. It helps my mind to mentally be able to quickly find and make sure I have the pattern correctly. And another thing is you need to keep your scene cards upright. You keep them face up. Um, so that's just part of the game. But honestly, you're so busy looking at your own patterns, you're not going to really have time to look at what they're going for because it really doesn't matter because you have to complete your scenes to get any points. So you really don't have time to, unless it's something that you could tell they're going for, an animal that you can 
you know that you need that you're going to move, that's the only time you'd really pay attention. When you see them moving things on the board that you're looking at too. If you had your choice of two crocodiles and I see Quentin really needs that crocodile, you're going to take the one he needs rather than the one over here. So that's really the only way you would mess with your opponents because other than that, you don't have time to... Which we, we did during our game as well, so... <laughs> yeah. So, and one last thing, there's score tokens. Let me show them those. Yeah. If you happen to get 100 points or more, because this board only goes to 99, you have score tokens. When someone reaches 100, they just put that on on their video tracker. And if you are a rock star and get 200 points, you turn it over to 200, and then you just start at one. So you know you've got 100, 101, 102. It's a way of you, if you totally get so many points, you've ran yourself off the board. So I think we've covered everything. Um, again, it's, it's not as difficult as all that sounds. It's just a lot of little things. But honestly, with the player aid card, the player aid cards are really good. It has all the steps on it, and then it also has all the token, all the icons. So we never really had to reference the book at all. The rule book is well written. Um, it gets you started, and even the setup page is really good. It has pictures and numbers to show what they're talking about. So it's it was so easy to set this game up. Even building the Rock of Ages, they even have a step by step here and what all the pieces are called. So it's it's very easy to set this game up and and figure it out. So I don't think we ever really had to consult the rule book. Yeah. Okay, so oh, and here's our first player tokens. Pretty cool. It's this tree with a bird on it. So Quentin's going to go first. And that moves at the beginning of each new round. So we're in round one. Your turn, Queen. Um, I actually get from this card, the veterinarian. The specialist card? Yeah. Start the game with seven food. Oh, he gets seven food from his specialist card. And that is an advanced rule. You do not have to play with these. They suggest you don't um, if you're learning the game. But since we're showing you this game and we know it's not... It's it's coming out soon. We wanted to show all of it so you could see all of it. But that does add a, even a new variable to the game. It makes it even better. Um, I am going to... I'm going to oh. try to go for this. Oh, that's my point one. Oh. Oh, that's what those are. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Put them on there. They were just. Yeah, that one needs a green one too. So here. So I'm going to go for this one. Okay. Plus, I know that I need rhinos. So what I'm going to do is have this one here. For the large mammals? Mm -hmm. Okay. So he's putting his action token Which one to discover a large mammal. This time on, the the rhino, one. right? So not reaching over. Okay, he's paying his one coin. And he gets to place that anywhere on the board, but he has a specific terrain he needs it on. So he needs it on water. He is going for the terrain scene. So he just needs to have the animals on the terrains. They don't have to be anywhere near near each other. Okay. And then that's his turn unless he wants to pay two additional coins to take another turn. Yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay. It's expensive. Actually, no. <laughs> okay. So. I'm going to do that later. I am going to discover a crocodile. I pay my one coin. And I am actually also going for a terrain scene where they just need to be on a specific terrain. And I will gain one food token at the end of every round, and right now I'll gain an SFS token immediately if I, well not right now, but when I complete it. Okay, so, and it's too bad the crocodiles aren't one of the ward tiles, because this card has three crocodiles on it. That would be sweet. Yeah. So while you're playing, you want to try to collect 
what is it? The zebras and the rhinos are will help you in those award ceremonies. Okay, so he needs to be either on water or tree, so I'm just going to place him up here. Okay, I am going to... Did I give him my coin? Yeah. Yeah, you can be up right here. Okay, so he's taking a gazelle. Yep, and I score four points. You already finished it? Yep. Oh, based on what we did? So we worked for him. <laughs> he needed a gazelle on water and a crocodile on water. So when I placed that crocodile, I finished half of his scene for him, and he gets mm -hmm. four discover or four documentary points. So he's at four on the tracker. Okay, your turn, Queen. And you, and you keep going until you're done with all your coins, and that's when it goes to the next round. When everyone passes. Yeah, when everyone passes. I'm going to go for... Oh, I forgot to tell you how you can get more coins other than the beginning of the round. If you want to dis discard two cards from your scene cards, you can gain one coin. You don't get anything for just discarding one card. And you can only have a total of eight. So if you ever have more than eight at the end of your turn... You need to either discard two and gain a coin or just discard one and it's just gone. You don't get anything for it. So sorry. Let me just, I don't really have enough room to put mine up there. Okay. Oh, you can move, put them to the right. There you go. They're barely <laughs> even, they're not really on the edge. It's sorry. kind of hard. You do need a lot of space in this <laughs> board game. Okay, yeah, just put it on. on. Yeah, let's do it to the right. To yeah. the right here. So you... Can I move this? Yeah. Okay. No, whatever one you score on, move to the right. Oh, yeah. Here, just move your little bar so you know. Yeah. Well, you can do it this way. If that's your scoring. There you go. Okay. Just any way to divide them so you know what you've completed. Okay. And you have to have your completed face up as well. I don't really need to see anymore. So that's really the purpose of the bar is to separate your completed from the ones you're working on. Hey, your turn, Olivia. Um, how do all these have, um... They could be anywhere. No, what I mean is, isn't all these three that have remained, you, you're already on them, so it costs two? Yeah, yes. Two okay, I'm going to give the zebra. Okay. First. Oh, so you're already on there, right? Oh, no, Daddy's on there. So he would need to pay two coins because Anthony's already on that space um, he, to get that zebra. So I need to put the zebra on a rock one. So I'm going to put the zebra right here. Okay, and I'm going to get... Uh, I'm already on there. I'm just going to get the crocodile and put another one. i put it over here on water. I'm purposely not putting them together because I don't want to help them <laughs> finish their scene. So I'm kind of keeping them separated from all the other animals as much as I can. My turn? Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm already there. So I'm going to get the zebra. And place it right here. Your turn, Quinn. I'm going to spin two to get whatever that is. Jackal. Jackal. Okay. So it's costing Quentin more to get his because he's not on the actual open space. Anthony's camping there. <laughs> but you do have to leave your action token to your next turn. You don't remove it. I'm going to try to put them as far away as possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I am going to camp in my spot, pay a coin, get my final crocodile, and he needs to be in the woods. I'm going to put him there. I completed this scene card, so I get one SFX token, and I don't get this food token until around preparation. Can you hand me a Food token, or sorry, SFX. Sorry. 
So this is a one-time reward. And then I get the food one at, at the beginning of each round. Okay, so I'm gonna spend one coin. Yeah, I'm still staying in the same spot. <laughs> and I am getting a jackal. I'm not even gonna be able to finish any because you keep camping in the same spot. <laughs> so I get a food token. So Anthony gets an immediate food token and he has two cherries on the top of his card. Two cherry icons. So that'll come into play later if he gets one of those cards with the little math equations um, based on how many cherry icons he has. And you want to kind of constantly look at your cards because they're placing things. They might have, like with Anthony, I did for Anthony, placing them for you. Uh, you can discard two cards for one coin. Can you want one coin? Mm-hmm. I forgot about that. You can discard two cards for a coin. And I'm going to go here to get this one. Okay. Okay. So you need two coins? Yep, it's all mom. my coins. Mom. Mom <laughs> I've, been, dad keep I've camping. been camping there. And I finished this, the terrain scene, because I have my jackal there, my rhin rhinoceros there, my um tiger there. And there's the zebra there. Okay. So I finished it and I get 10 points. Nice. Wow. So he gets 10 documentary, documentary points. points. Okay. I have to pay Quentin or someone placed this uh, Giselle for me. So I only have to place the, is that the, what are these called? The, what? What a jackal. 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 <laughs> on the, the wooded area, but I'm gonna have to pay two coins because <laughs> Anthony's camped there. <laughs> um, but that will complete my card. So I'm gonna put him right there and I get a cherry icon and I get three documentary points. So put him over here in my video. And that's the end of my turn. You get a lot of those extra points. Okay, so mm -hmm. let's see. I am going to use my my food. Can you move that right there? Here. Yeah. So he's putting. Let me show them how you actually do it with your food. With your food. Oh. Uh, so you're moving this one, right? Yeah. So you put your food down, and it's basically luring them to that spot. Okay, so... And that's a free action. He could still take a basic action. Okay, I am going to... Uh, can you give me that? The vulture? Yeah. So, I keep, pay? I keep wanting to call pay? ostrich. <laughs> I'm not sure. What? Yeah. what did you, yeah, you do pay. No, I'm, I don't know oh, if I pay this one. Gotcha. Okay, so I can play that and get a heart. Okay, so Anthony... He doesn't get an immediate reward, but he does get a heart icon, which will count at the end of the game. You remember the hearts give you, like, if you have 10 hearts, you get 45 points. And it's just 9, 37, 8, 30, and just keeps going down. You need to put it in your completed. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now it's Quentin's turn. So, and okay. he's got all those food tokens. He can use as many as he wants right, during move. his turn, and not it doesn't cost him any actions. So you really Is there any elephants up there? No. Yeah, no. it's not worth him got past. Okay, so he's passed, so he's done this round. But which is fine. I've only got one token left. So. Yeah, once you pass, you cannot continue with any more actions in the round. The reason why I'm out of points so fast is because to put the animals down, I had to keep paying two each because mm -hmm. you kept saying staying in the same spots. Mm -hmm. Well that's why you should you should have moved, since you're the first player, you should have moved there and mm -hmm. camped and got all your characters and then moved. Yeah. I didn't pay attention that they're all in the same area. Quinton's there. I don't have enough coins to do it. So I am just going to have to pass. I can't do anything. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to... Let's see. Actually, 
I don't need to pass. Can I go ahead and go since you don't want Yeah. Sorry. Oh, wait. Never mind. You're camped there. I, I can't go. You pass him? Yeah, I have to pass. If I if you two were on the spaces, I could have done something. I'm gonna use two of my coins. Okay. I can't get. Uh, ah, I should have one <sighs> The wilder beast. <laughs> All right, and I'm done with my turn. Okay, so that's round one. So then we go to the round preparation phase. We remove we move the round marker to round two. Anthony will give us our coins, which is six coins for round two. We redraft the scene cards. And then we didn't even use them, but we still redraft them. I hope there's them. no wares, so you don't get them. Oh no, I'm going to knock over. Oh. Where were they? Um, I'll, I'll do the cards. I was on three. And Four and three? Yeah. Did you hear Where were you? How many points did you have? Four? Okay. Yeah. No. Yeah, Mom kind of moved everything. All right. Okay, and oh, goodness, the wares, then please. we draw four scene cards, and then we, so Anthony will deal us, we're kind of limited without knocking stuff over, so Anthony's going to deal us four scene cards each, and we keep one and discard the rest. So there's a lot of discarding of scene cards, and then you just reshuffle the deck if you run out. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. Got no wares. That's fine. Oh, wow. So you pick one? Yes. Okay. Yeah, rare. Really? Oh. Lucky. Rare. Mm -hmm. Anthony got the Come on, coveted rare. rare. There's only four. Four more left in the deck. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you gotta go through the whole deck in the game, so <laughs> it doesn't matter. People are gonna get rares. I thought there's five rares in there. There's five rares in deck. Oh. You have one of them, so there's only four left. Okay. Yeah, just okay. Here, this is then, um, your first player. We receive our round rewards. Oh, yeah, player. and the first player, Barford, goes to me now. My round reward is I get I have one food token because I. Do you guys have any of the red background um, icons? No. Okay. And then we start the next round. So I get to start. Oh, you didn't give us our coins. Six oh, coins. I have coins. I, oh, yeah. I have six coins. I was trying to eliminate my competition. <laughs> 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 okay. And our action tokens are still there, so we're still camping. <laughs> but let's see. Oh, you helped me out. No. So I'm going to use... Okay, so I'm doing... He put that Giselle there for me. And the leopard's right here. It's in the wooded area. I need it in, on a rock. So I'm just going to eliminate that need. And I've completed... This scene. Hey, my a nice husband. Mm -hmm. And it co didn't <laughs> cost any action because these are free action. You have to keep it on top of it. Um, oh, really? Yeah. That don't be confusing. I'll think I have it. Oh. I don't think you keep it on top of it. All right. Um, so I get one food token for completing uh, it right away. I right, you don't want to keep it on top because you have to stack them. Yeah. Can you give me the food token? Yeah. And then... I, that is a heart icon to add to my collection, so I need to start. Okay, and now I still get my regular basic action, because that was three actions that I took. So, let's see. I'll wait on that one. You guys are totally in my way. So I'm going to, or actually that's me. That is actually me. <laughs> I was green last time and we switched, so it's messing with my head. I'm normally green, but Quentin likes that color too, so we always battle over who gets to be green. Okay, so. Yep, 
Yeah, I'm going to I think draw a card from the same pool. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to renew all the cards, pay my coin. So Anthony will be switching them out. No, the rewards aren't that great on those. Yeah. Except that one I, that has the special effects. Yeah, those are handy. But I would rather get the one with the red background. You get it every round. Come on, no wares. You don't need enough wear. Ooh, one. those are worth 10 points. Yeah. Oh, I'm glad I did this. Yeah, it's your turn still. Okay, so... My turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, I didn't realize, but I already completed this last round, but I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. And you don't have to collect them as soon as you complete them. It's kind of risky not to because the animals are always moving, but yeah. you can wait and, and take them later. Because yeah, so these have the green thing underneath. That means that they could be located any place in the map. And so. Are they on the right terrain? Yeah. They all have to be on wood. Yeah. Okay. Wood, wood, okay. wood. All right. And so I have three hearts. So he is guaranteed now he has an, a seven bonus documentary points at the end of the game. That's a yeah. lot. So now I have to work on my rare. I need to get a rare. But Amanda's kind of blocking some of the stuff I need. Yeah, that's good to know. <laughs> So I am going to, oh, actually, I'm still blocking it. All right, I'm going to pay two. Can you move this to right there? Oh. To what? Here? Yeah. Actually, I'm blue, right? I'm not red. I'm red. Yeah. <laughs> move that over there. Here. Yeah, can you give me the, uh, yeah, the orange? Leopard. Okay, so your turn, Queen. I'm going to pay one to get rid of all of these. He's trying to go for the rare. So he's redrafting from the card pool. And you'll notice these actions on the bottom, mm -hmm. there's more exactly spaces. Rewards. Like at any time, we can all fit on um, take a card or renew your card pool. That's never full. The only ones that might be full, which I've never seen them full, is move an animal or swap positions. Because there's two each on those. These are the ones that get populated, pulling the animals out. So Quentin renewed the scene card pull, and he gets to take one of his choice. I'm going to take this one. The reason why is because it has a special effects token that I get every round. Yep. So, wait. Circle glass and one like that? Well, you don't, you don't have to be anywhere if you have one. Yeah, they have to be in a straight line. It's kind of hard to do. Your turn, man. Okay, so I'm going to go to discover a large mammal. I'll take out a giraffe and put him on a rock. My turn? Okay, can you give me a... Actually, I need to... Can you give me two... Uh, a tiger? I already paid. Leopard. Tiger. Lion? Lion. <laughs> there is no tigers in this game. Oh, lion. <laughs> I thought this was a tiger. That's no, a leopard. It's a leopard. Um, Le lion. Tigers are striped. It's kind, of, it's kind of confusing a little bit for to remember all the animals. Your turn, Quinn. Um, I'm going to. So I'm going to. Wait. So if I'm green, can we, where's the wildebeest? Right here. That's what you want? Yeah, I only paid one. So where, 
So if I want to finish that, it would have to be right here. Mm -hmm. There you go. It's one that I'm trying to finish. So I can see the special effects is very specific. Okay, so I'm gonna move this food to move this crocodile <laughs> here. I see you're trying to make it where I can't get there easily. Uh, I didn't even know you were going for that. And then I'm going to pay t two coins right here to get a lion. Um, so the crocodile has to be on the grasslands and the lion should be anywhere. And I gained three discovery points. Wait, that's not me. me too. Oh, you had us opposite. That's why I'm confused. Oh, I'm ran. So I get a, I'm up to six points and I put this in my video collection. And that's the end of my turn. I have to move that. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna get another uh, line. Okay. Your turn, Quinn. So I'm going to Get that one, the jackal. Um, are you on your there, there, there aren't any. They're oh. all out on the board. Wait, what? Yep, they're these oh. guys. Yes, yeah, so there wasn't any. So you would have to either, you'd have to move one of them or swap one of them. So close. That's going to be very hard. You could swap two animals. Oh, uh, but. Can I use this more than one time? Yeah, you can use as many as you have. So, no. But you can't move them diagonally. Oh, yeah, I can't do that. I can't move them diagonally. There's one here, and here, and here. I'm actually going to swap one, okay. just because it's the easiest if I did that. Okay. Because I can just move it next turn. You can still use your food tokens oh, anytime. Yeah. You gotta put it where. So where are you moving him? Oh, and you put here? Mm-hmm. Move in. So that's where he's staying? Mm-hmm. Okay. Do my, like that. My turn? That's, that's exactly like it, so I know what I'm trying to do that one. Is it my turn? Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm going to move. Oh, wait. wait. Hmm. No, that won't work. Need one there. Okay, so I'm going to move here to discover a scavenger and put it on a rock. Yeah, see if I'm using my food at all. Actually, I'm going to pay my two gold. Make sure I have them all. Pay two gold to go here to swap positions with two animals. I'm going to switch the zebra and the hyena. And I completed this card and it's worth 10 discovery. So that puts me at 16 discovery points. And it gives me another plant. Okay, and now it's Anthony's go. Okay, I'm going to move right here. Okay. Can you move the... So hard to get this one because you keep moving them. I know they're always moving. <laughs> I can't get this one because they're always in. Wait, did you? Oh no! You moved it again. I didn't even realize that. What the zebra? That... 
So you're swapping? Again. You have to pay a coin. You keep moving it. This is really <laughs> hard to get because it has to be in a very specific order. That's why order. I don't put mine in a row if I don't have to. Yeah, but they have to be in a straight line. Mm -hmm. Are you paying two coins to do another action? Or are you moving something? Or with your food token? Um, no. You done? Mm hmm. Okay. It's hard. I don't have any coins, but let's see if I want to do something with my token. Lucy can't keep swapping them anymore. Or I can't get them because. It makes it where I can't get it easily. Keep swapping my. There's no rocks. They're all the way over there. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna pass. Okay. I'm gonna pass. Okay, so that's the end of round two. So I all of us have to pass. We all oh, passed. Yeah. Did you pass? No. Oh, sorry. Quentin hasn't passed yet. So I'm going to do it where am I? So I need one there. I'm going to... So Quinn kind of has an advantage. He has two coins left. He could technically take two turns because we passed. Has, and he has a lot of food. So I'm going oh, to move yeah. that there. And then with that, I'm going to swap them. Okay, so that cut. Where's that right there? Oh, so wait, you, that didn't cost you a coin to do the move with your food token. Mm -mm. Oh, okay. He swapped though. Oh, he paid yeah. the food token. I just saw him pay you something. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm going to go here. Well, you already paid. Oh, yeah. For swap. Oh, yeah. You'd have yeah. to have two tokens to do another action. Or you can use okay. food to move Or you can move stuff with your food. Okay, that's the end of my turn. Your pass? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so, we round two? Yep. Mm -hmm. Or no, that's four. End of round two. Yeah, yeah so we're on three. So we go here. So we here's the final move point. the round marker. You keep, you keep the final. Oh, we do yeah. our round events where as you you um do this round. Make sure I'm not missing something. Oh yeah, that's that's what I thought. That's starting in round four. Okay, so we redraft the card pull. Replace it with six more cards. Then Anthony's going to deal us, um, he's giving us our coins. If our head coins remain at the end of them. So, and then after he's done redrafting the scene pool, he's then going to deal four cards to each of us. And we'll pick one of those to keep. He's going to deal me that rare card. Oh, yeah, I go first. Oh, yeah. We move the round marker. Oh, you did give me a rare. Really? Yep. How? I'm obviously going to keep that one. No. <laughs> Although I kind of want to keep the hearts. I'm actually thinking about keeping the hearts over the rare. How many hearts is it? Two. Oh, look, I got a two food one every turn. That's every nice. Wow. Oh, yeah, I never finished that one. Guess I'll keep the rare. It's gonna be hard to do. They're hard. All right. I'm gonna get this one because I don't have to. Okay. I don't have to have them in a straight line. It makes it pretty easy. Okay. My and turn. then um, we receive our round reward. So I get one food. I don't have anything. I don't have anything. So you can give me the food, please. And you do. Oh, you yeah, haven't finished it yet. Okay. <clears throat> And then we start the next round. So we're at the beginning Keep of round three. Swap. It costs you two. Yep. There's so no elephants there. And so I'm moving. I know, I need elephants too. Let's see. Actually, no, I'm not doing that. I am. Here, I'm not doing the swap. Okay. 
Actually, yeah, I'm doing this one. All right. Okay, put me in the swap area. Swapping these. Okay. It's my turn. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to move this one here. Oh, that helped you? No. I, yeah, it did because, and I'm going to go there. And pay Elephant coin. It's always a free accident and you pay. And I put that there. And I finished this one, the straight line scene. So nice. I get a special fish every time. And right now, I get a food. Finish it. Let me see. They have to be all in the same order. Yeah, here, here. There can't be anything in between them. And you Wait. Let me see. He doesn't have the, the animals. In so he has wildebeest. Did you move for mine? Yeah. Oh, yeah. The this needs to be in front of the elephant. I didn't know so you moved mine. Yeah. No, it's only. I could still swap them though. Yeah, but it's not your turn yet. Yeah, but yeah. you would still need to move there. this crocodile out of the way. Yeah. Determined. I mean, it's fine. If the crocodile wasn't there and you swapped those, you would get it. Mm -hmm. But since the crocodile is basically. No, it wouldn't get it because it. they have to be in an exact straight line. Don't they have to be right next to each other? No, they don't. Oh, okay. They just have to be in a straight line. So, see, you could do it this way. Oh. But I thought if they, the crocodile wasn't there. I thought they had to be right next uh -uh, to each they other. They don't have to be adjacent. It's just a straight line. So they could be from here to here as long as nothing's blocking them. Oh, that would make it so much easier. Mm -hmm. So did you take your turn? Okay. <laughs> Mine are tough. There are some really hard ones to do. Gets harder and harder as it gets yeah. to make to see how close you are to something. Yeah. Sometimes you see there's a card that's already done. I'm gonna wait, maybe let's see. I'm gonna purchase this card. And let's see if I'm gonna use any food. Or is it already? Oh, wait, it's already done. Hey, will. I don't have to do anything. Nice. So this one I just purchased. I didn't have to move any animals because it requires a uh, rhinoceros to be in water and a, what, oh. are those, what are those called again? Gazelle? Gazelle to be in a straight line to uh, it. Oh yeah, there's nothing They're right in a straight line yeah. with no animals blocking. So that's an animal print for the award ceremony and I get one food right away. Okay, my turn. That was a score. Mm -hmm. I am going to swap. I pay, oh no, no, I have to pay one coin now. One coin and I'm gonna swap the alligator Right here, and I finished my rare. Good thing I bought that card. Oh, we need to replace this card that I just I oh, yeah, we bought. Have we been doing that? I don't think we did it before. But I finished the rare, and so I get 12 points. Nice. Get 16. So you and uh, I are tied. All right, your turn, Quinn. So I'm going to... What I'm going to do is, so I'm going to move this one here out of my way. And then move this one. You can just swap them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it. So swap. Mm -hmm. Swap one, them. One coin. No, you did it, right? Yep. So I get one food and every turn I get a special effect. That's really good. Mm -hmm. So I'll get one of my foods back. Okay, that's it. Okay. I'm going to 
redraft. Okay. Sure. Oh wait. Let me look at this. What does it give you? Seven. Mm. But they might be already on the spot that they need, they need to be. Mm -hmm. See? I think I'm just going to purchase this one. Okay. <laughs> that. Okay. And then let me see if I want to use my food. So go in there. No, I don't, I can't really move them effectively. Yeah. My redraft. You guys might do the work for me. Oh no. <laughs> There's three wares left. It's pretty low odds of there being a wear in this next draft. Ooh, like that. Ooh. Wow. Wow. Whoa. Dang, good ones. You know we're not wares. Okay. Okay, so. I'm actually going to get this one. Well, positive you get that one. So. Alright, your turn, Quinn. I'm going to redraft. Okay. Oh, did you move any? You didn't move any in the redraft. Oh, did you redraft? I thought you. No. Oh, wait. Yeah, I did. Did you pay a coin? Mm-hmm. Yeah, give him the coin. Okay. So oh. far, so good. At least you got some good. Mm-hmm. Feel like a dealer at. <laughs> Ooh, wow. Well, Remember, these are beneficial for the war ceremonies. They're like wilds. Yeah, they count any animal. That's why I picked okay. the, that one. Definitely going to take that one for Ooh. a coin. Oh, you already paid your coin. Oh, yeah, you already paid it. Because you redrafted. Yeah, you, you can buy an extra one for a coin if you want. Oh, yeah, Another you. coin. Can I buy this one? Okay. What lot? Actually, you can buy that one too. Wait, what? No, that one's kind of too hard. There. Is that it? Oh, okay, let me see where I'm at on this guy. Somewhere in there. Okay, so I'm I might use this, but right now I'm going to go here and pull the zebra out onto a wooded area. And then I'm gonna use my food to move lure my leopard to the wooded area. So I completed this terrain scene and I get seven documentary points. So I'm at 17. We are all neck and neck. Okay. Mm -hmm. I am going to redraft. Here, so does it only cost one? Yep. Okay, good. Look at that right there. Okay. You do anything else? Um, yeah, I'm going to move this one. So I'm going to move this here and then move it down here. And then I move it for the final time 
down here. Then I finish this one, which it's a straight line here, here, here. And I get, so one pocket on is being water, which it is. One needs to be here, which it is. And this, there's another giraffe that can be anywhere. Good job. So I get a special effects and for two for the award ceremony. Nice. Okay. Kind of helped me, but if this one animal was there, I would be. No, actually. Mm. Not, water, like, not even there. close to. Oh, we need to replace that card. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, so here. this one I, I was talking about has a little math equation. So if you have a, you count your number of cherries, you add two. Count your number of plant icons you add to, or you can count your number of flowers and count to. So I have two plants. So it would be two plants plus two is four equals the amount of stars that you get. So you could choose any, you can choose one of those three so icons. Can you buy it? No. I was just showing them. <laughs> What's this one? How many rhinos do you have? One, but three because of these two. Uh -huh. I'm gonna redraft. Do you have? Zero. Really? Mm -hmm. You don't even have the paw prints? Oh, uh, uh, nope. How many do you have, including the paw prints? Two. Oh, so I'm winning right now on those. How many do you have? Three. Right. Mm -hmm. That one. I can't tell what the animal is on that. It's only two, so it'd be easy to get. Wildebeest. Yeah. Yeah, crocodile. I have to think it's already there. No, it's not on that rock. Oh, it has to be in the rock, the wildebeest. Mm -hmm. Oh. That would be hard to do. All right. Let's see. That one's already completed. Oh, actually. Yeah. No, it's not. Actually, yeah, it is. There's no hyenas out there. Oh. I already looked. Yeah. Yeah. Because I need hyenas. All right. Um. What's the next one? I guess I'll just take this one. What's the six round mm -hmm. one? What's that? What's the six round one? That's the where you do this. I'm going to go yeah. ahead and spend two to get a hyena and I'll be able to complete this card. Oh, you need zebras, looks like. I need a hyenas out there anyway. And that gives me four. <laughs> Documentary points. Okay. Okay. My turn? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna reshuffle this thing. Reshuffle a lot. I'm looking for, for a rare, but I still don't have. Okay. Let's see. Ooh, something. Two. They're kind of hard to complete, though. Okay, so I'm going to... Grab this one. Okay, yeah. All right, your turn, buddy. I'm going to do the same thing. Wait. Oh, wait. All right. I'm going to do the same thing. What are you doing? Please. We drafting. Mm-hmm. Yep, we drafting. This is probably the longest thing that takes the redrafting. Yeah. We've already went through over half the deck. <laughs> Come on. Whoa. All right. So I don't know what you completed. Oh wait, this one's already completed. Yeah, that's a heart. But I'll do it so. Wait. And it, it, did you pay me the? Car? 
Yeah, I paid you a coin. Alright. So I only had one, didn't I? I can't remember. Are you done buying? Um. Are you buying another one? Depends if this one's already complete, which I don't think it is. So, where are all the jackals at? No, it's not completed. No. Alright. You done? Mm -hmm. I have to pass. Okay. okay, so I am going to say I don't think I'm going to win this game. I'm kind of stuck. My two cards are so hard and the animals are nowhere. Well, the migration might help me. Is the rare the hard The tides to do? can turn okay, in the great migration. this whole thing? Do what? Uh, is your rare real hard to do? Yeah, and then there was no hyenas out there. It has three hyenas on it. Wow, that's so really it hard. It, it makes it hard, and there's yeah. so many animals out there. And the, it'll be better for me it's once not the most migration. of the deck. Mm -hmm. I've only found two out of the five rares so far. There has to be a rare soon. Or they might be all at the bottom. Maybe. You just never know. Alright. I'm starting to figure if they're all at the bottom. And so we have to reshuffle. Oh, you still have one left. Your yeah. turn, Quinn. Um, that and that. Is that already completed? Oh, this one's already completed as well. Is that? Where? So here and... Oh, wait. Yeah, here. Here and here. That's not... Oh, it is adjacent, isn't it? Yeah. Are they on the right terrain? Yeah. Huh? That's it. Nope, they can be diagonal. Yeah, it's the elephant's here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's already completed. I think he's getting lucky on those. All so right. stack your hearts all together. Yeah, and you stack so them. So you can, yeah, you put your icons together. I have He's two. Been lucky. All right. Then we. All right. We have. Okay. Good. No wares. Okay. So that's the end of the round. Okay. okay. I so got yeah. the most. So we all these. passed. And we do the migration. And we move rail marker. So we have our first award ceremony. And I got the most because I got three. So it's the most rhinos I have. Let me I have one, one rhino, one. but I have two of the paw prints. Yeah, I only have two. I have three. Do you have any? Yeah. So Ooh. Quinn gets first place. What? He gets six and points. Okay, I'm only getting that. So Unless there's another rare. I get two points. So happy now that I get my first wear, and it's an easy one. And so hard. we uh, draw four more scene cards and pick one after mm -hmm. Anthony gives us our coins. We get seven coins at right. the beginning of each round this time. Awesome. So the first three rounds you get six coins, the last three rounds you get seven coins at the beginning of your turn. It's awesome how I finally got my first rare. Oh, Did you do yeah. the migration thing? No, nope, I'm waiting to do it. Okay. Okay. Oh, and we receive our round rewards. Uh, I get a food token. I get uh, special effects. That's my second one. That's okay. going to help me a lot for my And rare. now we drew our great migration card. It's uh, this one. Okay. Okay, so we will be removing animals based on the card. So... We remove the one here, there's not one there. We remove this one and put him back in his habitat. And this one, the zebra. Okay. Oh, sorry, little guy. It's fine. Um, That's four over here. This one. These two tigers. Lion to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we we removed all those animals off the board. So I'm hoping that will maybe help me a little. Okay, your turn, Quinn. So I'm going to pay one coin to obviously get the rare. Yeah. That is kind of obvious. Are you done? Mm -hmm. So you need to move your action token. Actually, no. I'm you can't. Oh, yeah. You I'm can gonna, do a free action. Yeah. I'm going to put this one here. So, where's already... So, 
Shoot. Oh, yeah. Go. Oh, you didn't give us our four cards to be able to pick one. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I feel like I get enough for wear. Come on. I was like wondering why I don't have another card. <laughs> we forgot to do this part. Mom, give me no rare. Hey, this was the only I got enough for wear! This was the only time. Whoa. I wish I could keep all of them. Look, I have two Look. wares now. Oh Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I have two wares now. That's awesome. Okay, I'm gonna discard these. You could, like doing them, but I yeah, wish you could pay to keep these more than one. This one's hard. This one way. Yeah. It's hard to choose when you get several good ones, mm -hmm. especially later in the game. I know. It is hard to choose. So I need. Well, I can just move that one there. If that. Uh... Sorry, I'm taking so long. I'm just deciding. Okay, that's fine. Whose turn is it? Quintus? Um, yeah. I did my turn, no, he, didn't he, I? He, Yeah, he already did. So is it my turn? Yeah. Yeah, I'll yeah, pick this one. I'm going to move this Giselle. And I completed a terrain scene, and I get to draw one card from the scene deck. Okay. And that gives me more of those little flowers. Okay, so that was a free action. Um, yeah, I forgot so much about our effects. That's gonna be really helpful for this straight line scene. This one's really hard. My turn? No, that was my free action. Two, two. What? They are so hard. Yeah, this one where I don't even know how you're supposed to do it. Ooh, it. wait. No, I've got this one. Maybe. Oh, that's hard. Do I? Okay, I see how you do that one now, but it's like kind of really hard to finish that. Okay, so I'm going to pull another hyena out okay. and put him. Here. Okay, you move me to the swap. So I'm gonna swap. Let's see. Ah, this with the lion. Okay. So it doesn't affect me. Balls, it doesn't affect me. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to swap these for a coin. Okay. Turn. It's your turn. I am going to move an animal three spaces. Also not two rares. One, two, two three. Go for six. Okay, I am going to swap a if you don't move mine. You give me that rhino? Swap this with the rhino? No. Yeah. Mm -mm. Give me. <laughs> I, I to... just moved it. Okay, your turn, Quinn. I wish there was a thing that you could block <laughs> <laughs> Because it can be really annoying sometimes. I've been working really hard on that card. I'm gonna swap the water beast here to here for a coin. Yeah. You gotta pay two to swap. What? <laughs> so all I need is another one right there. And that's gonna be easy to put down. <laughs> you must still get to pay two coins. Mm -hmm. Yes. Debating. <laughs> or you could try to go for the rares there. The deck is kind of low. There's probably three I'm rares. Not, I'm not going for that. I have two wares, so you have one. 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 There's only one wear left. There's a total of five. Yeah. Haven't you had one? Yeah, one. So and three. she has one. Oh, she and has I have one? Two. Oh, okay. I didn't know she had one. I haven't finished it. All right. 
She's had like all game, but she hasn't finished it yet. Okay, I'm gonna pull out a hyena. Okay, finally. It's the first hyena, I think. Wait, there's only four. Well, I have to find the right spot. This is really hard. Uh, I don't, I'm going to do a different action. All mine are impossible. Yeah. I have this one that's really hard. The two special effects. Okay, I'm going to purchase this card okay. and then I'm going to pay two coins. How would that work? If I'm taking an additional, it would be three, right? Because I'm paying an extra coin. Like if I wanted to do this, because it costs an extra coin to do it, right? Mm. It's two to do an extra action, and then it costs an extra coin. Yeah. Because you guys are on this. So it would cost me three coins if I wanted to do that. So extra action is two plus two is four. Yeah, it'd be four. Oh. You can't even do that. What do you think? You really, like... <laughs> pain in my side. What, do you think winning was going to be easy? <laughs> what, you think we're going to give you a win for free? <laughs> yeah. All these stink. Okay, so instead of that, I'm going to have you redraft. All right. I don't want any of those. Ten years later. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's, my cards are impossible. Like, I was so close, and then somebody painted my side. And then I can't do it because I... There's only one word left. I doubt you're going to get... Oh, oh wow! It. Really? That's no. what you get for being so mean to me. Okay, no, find a way. They're impossible, though. Okay, my turn. Mine <laughs> well, are kind of easy if I special effects. And next turn, I'm, I'm going to finish mine. Okay, sir. I'm going to swap these two. No! I need that. Okay, your turn. Actually, I'm going to do another move. Oh, no. I'm going to swap. No! Don't swap mine again. So, <laughs> let's see. I need. Uh, yeah. Again? Okay, no. Finish my heart. It's just me. <laughs> no. Okay, your turn, Quinn. No, I have, like, I have none really on there. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't want to have to keep paying for the swaps. Um. That was hard to do. Oh, I don't even want to hear about it. I'm going to move here. There. All right. Can you miss uh thing? Where are you moving? Right here? Mm-hmm. Discovered. Okay. And then I'm going to get my um thing, the Which gazelle. Oh, oh, I put him on the wrong one. There you go. Thank you. And I'm going to put that right there. All right. I don't think you would need to swap it there. No. Okay. So where am I on this? I was about to finish it that round, but then you swapped my gazelles. Okay, I can finally do this card. The where? I'm swapping, no, two oh. hearts, swapping this guy with this guy. Okay. And that gets me two hearts. That's pretty helpful. Mm -hmm. Definitely need more hearts. Let's see. I'm done? Mm -hmm. I'm done. Oh. Okay. Well, I am going to... Hey, I'm gonna. Can you give me the uh, spotted leopard? Leopard. <laughs> okay, and so. Uh, Anthony needs to learn his cats. Uh, <laughs> his cats. What's that mean? He keeps calling them tigers. They're all tigers. 
<laughs> Alright. And the unboxing I did, I remembered all the names. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to swap them back. I hope you don't swap them back again. Right. Okay, that's my turn. Actually, you have to pay two. What? It's yep. Well, I'm actually going to do this, actually. I'm going to get rid of these two to get another coin. Alright. So, so that's your pay then. So I'm still at one coin. No, you paid one already, but you pay you switch these, so that's your second coin. Oh, okay. Alright. So now it's mom's turn. Oh. I'm still at two coins. Unless you actually you do another swap with two coins, but Yeah, I'm gonna do that. You wanna do that now? Mm-hmm. No, it costs him extra. It costs him four. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, because he's, he's, not. he's not on space. And to do additional action. Yeah. I'm so close to this and this, but you keep swapping my things. I might not even. If I can't finish. This in the next turn, they might just disappear. Okay, I'm gonna swap. Wait. Okay, that's fine. I don't need that there. Do I? Okay, my turn. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that is fine. That's the one gazelle that can that I need to swap that can stay there. If you swapped any other gazelle, I most likely wouldn't finish it. I'm a reshuffle this thing. Okay. He's going, he's not camping there anymore. Okay. Oh good, it only cost me one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's no more rares left. I know, but I'm... Going to get hearts. Um, I'm kind of stuck. Mm, go that one. I have two rares, but I can't complete them. They're so hard. This one's really hard, but I have two special effects. Right, See, I don't have any special yes. effects. Yes. Yes. So I swap this. Um, it wasn't here. Mm -hmm. And then I pay my coin, and I finish this one to rain the scene. Right. Don't I finish that? So because okay. it's here, 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 and here. Yep. They just have to be in the right terrain. Yep, they're in the right Where's terrain. The three. Yep. Here. You do. Got his rare. Awesome. So it's, that's your only rare? No, I have another one. That's completed. I you realize you could use these two. I'm saving them for this one. This one's almost impossible. Is that your only completed rare? Yeah. Okay, so he gets one rare times three. This one's really hard to fill up with special effects. Plus eight. So he gets 11 points. Ow. I'm already in the lead. So he's at 34. All right. Okay. I'm way ahead of you guys. I have one coin left. They're killing me, taking my stuff all the time. Lowe has one coin left too. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna swap. So I'm gonna swap well, these two. Okay. And I'm already on this action space. Oh. But again, the round's ending, so odds are something might be moved. Yeah. Hopefully it's for my favor. I'm just going to swap these two here for my final coin, and that's it. All right. Okay. There you go. So we're in the that's we're on the next round. So we're on round five. We get seven tokens. We collect our ongoing awards. So I get one food, and so Quinn gets one SFX. I don't get any. Actually, no, I do get one food. So many. So one food. Special effects. You get one in SFX. I'm at three. I'm going to easily be able to finish it. And I get it. one food. Yeah, he's got the SFX. I wish I had I'm it. going to be able to yeah, finish it first. as long as it's not moved. Okay, and then we redraft the scene pool. And Anthony's going to have to reshuffle and give us each four cards to look at. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we don't do, we do do a great migration. Sorry. Yeah. We do do it. So we'll put that there to do so I won't forget. Okay. Are oh, you shuffling? All right, just do the migration. I'll do this. Okay. So, we'll hope it doesn't stick mine. We move all the brown ones. 
Then we remove this zebra. Is the gazelle up there safe? One, two, three, four. Top. One, two, three, four. Okay. These three. Wow. Is that one safe? That one? Wait, it goes here. I found. I don't. Okay, let me see. These three go. Oh no. Because my hyenas. <laughs> Good. I got lucky okay. except one. Okay, one. so we did the migration. And now we choose one of these cards we were just handed to keep. I'm just going to get the one that gives me straight up points in here. I'm going to get rid of these. This card of these. There you go. Here. Awesome. Okay, your turn, Amanda. Okay, so I'm going to grab this wildebeest. Okay. So coin. Um, these just need to be adjacent. Three wildebeest. Only one has to be on a terrain. And I get eight uh, documentary points on it. Thirty. Okay, keep putting me in the swap. I am swapping these two. Okay. Um, these two. I thought it would help me. That's okay. And I finish this one. I get four points. Mm -hmm. But you get more for that. Okay. And I'm going to go here and put this one right here. All right. Here you go. And cost a coin. Awesome. Wow, you guys are going to let me finally finish this card. Oh, the rare? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you just So I'm going animal. to swap two animals. I'll swap these two. Oh, good. It's not the one that needs. Oh, wow. And I finished this one. They're on the right terrain. And I get nine documentary points for that. Wow, why are you giving me the card? I thought you were going to show it. Oh. Unfortunately, I'm completing a lot, but there are no like ongoing rewards or anything on them. Yeah. So let's see if I want to. Actually. You just swap. Yeah, let's just see if I can can do it. Just swap. I could spin my token if I wanted, but. Yeah, my turn. Yep. Just swap. Okay, I'm gonna swap. Just need that one. Yeah. Swap these two. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I finished this Wait, one. Wait, that helped me. What? Thank you. And so I get a food. Okay, your turn, Clint. All I need is put this F as if it oh wait. Oh it doesn't be in a straight line. Okay, so that one there, and then I'm going to Swap that one with that one right there. Okay, grab your coin. There you go. So, that would help me. Okay, I'm gonna grab one of the jackals. Okay. It can be quite hard to do. Okay, I'm going to. Okay, I'm gonna the spaces I need. Water beast is gonna be in the way though. Oh. Okay, I'm going to swap this and this, and I completed this one. Okay. Okay, your turn, Quinn. I'm going to pay one to put this one here. Right here. Okay. Your I'm going to stay on the same spot to get my jackal. Okay. Okay, I'm going to. Wait, is that this on here? The rock there. And then Jackal on the rock. Is there an elephant? Oh, wait, this one's already finished. Yeah, wait, it's your turn. I know. And it gives me a meat. Isn't this one finished? Because of that, I need one meat to move them. Or yeah, I'm going to sell these two and get a coin. It's not my turn, so I'm going to Because there's an elephant there. 
They're on the. They're already on. When you sell two, spots. when you sell two cars, is that a turn? They're, you completed it. What? Yes. When you sell two cars, is that your turn? No, that's no. a free action. Okay, so I am going to redraw this. It's not benefiting me. That's very helpful because I can just move that one there. Mm -hmm. You don't even need to move it. It's completed. Ooh. No, I'm saying I'm going to move this one so I can swap. There's a thing I need to do, but it's kind of hard. Yeah, I'm grabbing this one and I'm paying another one. Grab this one. Okay. Your turn, Cody. So I I finished this one. This one's already finished. It gives me a food, and I'm going to use that food to move this one right here. This one. All right. And that's my turn. I have completed my rare. Finally. So I'm going to swap. Wait, what? These two. Wait, do I need them? And then no, I'm gonna babe. use my food to move it. To move it. <laughs> And then I completed that needs to be a rhinoceros on the grasslands with three adjacent uh, jackals on yep. um, grasslands and a rock. So, and they can be diagonal. So I only have one rare completed. So it's three plus nine is 12 points. So I'm at 51. I've eaten ahead of them. My turn? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So let's see. Well, you're way ahead of us, in it? But I'm going to finish my next wear soon. As long as mine Your specialty there. card's way better than mine. Mine, is, mine gave me a lot of food in the start of the game. Well, he gets a bonus for completing 17 scene cards. I have to have 21 completed to get a bonus. I'm not even oh. close to that. So his is basically yours, but better. Yeah, they're the same. Mm -hmm. But doesn't yours free hearts count as a wear? No, I didn't pick that one. Oh. So I was worried it would end up, because you had to do minus five at the end of the game. Oh, yeah. But technically, it would have maybe, it would have balanced out. Yeah. Even if you got three hearts, actually you no, I would have lost two. Because yeah, it only multiplies each one by three. Oh, uh, you'd yeah. have to have a lot of hearts. Yeah. For it to, you'd have to have six Wait, hearts no. for it to actually be an yes. advantage. Your turn, Quinn. Yes. So I'm going to swap and let me swap this one here. And I finished it with the power of special effects here. I finished my second wear, so here's the one oh, here, that's right here. On. Yeah, I see it. That one, and then that one, and that one. Good job. Actually, wait, I meant to do that one. No, I was going to say, that's not it at all. I meant to. Well, you already moved it. Oh, wait, this one was here. You can just do that. Here we go. That makes it right. They're not in the right order. I mean. They have to be in the right order. It's yeah, gazelle, right. two crocodiles, then wildebeest. Oh, you'd need to swap the wildebeest and the gazelle, but would yeah. they be on the right terrain at that point? No, give me the special effects back. Yeah, the crocodiles aren't even on the right terrain. Oh, actually, that's the special matter. effects. I have three special they effects. They would be on the right terrain if yeah. you swap these two. Yeah. Oh, I can do an you additional can use action. Your special right? yeah. It costs okay. you two here. Yep. That's my additional action. And then Wait, it would cost, it cost you four because we're. We're uh, hogging that spot. Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You'd have to wait till next turn. Yep. Or, no, I'm going to do these. So you, these two. You already swap. Oh. All right. So you're going to pay it? Mm hmm. Pay my three coins. Pay four coins to do this. Oh, wait. I just count that. I have the. Okay, four. so you're swapping these two? Mm hmm. Using your SFX? Yeah, I have to use two. You only need one. Oh, yeah, one. one. Mm -hmm. So swapped it. On this Found guy. All right. No. In, oh, yeah. I didn't know there was a walk there. How many rares do you have completed? One. How are you there? Two. Yeah, so, so including second one. this one. So he's got two rares times three. So that's six plus nine. He gets 15 points. Wow. So he's at 49. 49. I'm still in the lead. That's hard to believe. Well, I know. Okay, so, sure, yeah. 
I give up on this rare and there, there's no way. <laughs> yeah, because you have the SFX. See if any of these are already completed by chance. Um, one. One of them is. Actually, no. It's also the right one. Well, wow, it's kind of hard to be in walk. Okay, I'm gonna renew the scene pool. Okay. Yeah, it makes sense. They're pretty hard, mm -hmm. and they're not that worth it. I've had enough what? hard ones. <laughs> I don't think these may give you too many points. Oh, I have to put this one here. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. I should put this here. So these are poppy beats over their top points. Okay. Make them on top of each other. Oh, yeah. There you go. That makes it easier. A lot easier. There you go. I'm gonna get this one. Okay. Alright, my turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this right here with my food. Um, let's see. I'm passed and it's my turn. Because okay. I have no coins. Can't do anything. And no cards. <laughs> yeah. Um, can you move me right here? So, one, two. Alright. Okay, so he passed. I'm going to use my last coin to swap. Okay, it's fine. And I'm going to, I need to get this elephant over to a rock. Let's see. You just moved yours here, right? Yeah. I'm hoping that messed with you. Mm. So, and I get to draw one scene. That's the instant award, reward. Okay. Got me some more cherries. And that's the end of my turn. Okay. I can't believe how I've completed two wares. Mm -hmm. I am done with my turn. Okay, so we all passed. Oh, okay, now we're in another award ceremony. We're on the last I round. I five, including my Paul points. Round six. Because that one in two rows. So zebra? Yeah, zebra. And we're going to be drawing this migration card. I have five. So we count our zebras. Zebra. One. I think I have a lot of zebras. Two. I only have two. I have five. I thought I had more. Two. It's because I have four paw points. So I only have one zebra. Those paw points are really helpful for bows. Yep. I only have three. I have five because I have four paw points. How many do you have? Four paw points. Two. Cool. So I get three points and Quentin gets ten. Ten? Wow. You have five, right? Yeah. That's two times however many you have. That's a lot. Okay, and then we get our coins. Okay. Get migration. And then Anthony's gonna, you already refreshed the scene yeah. pool, yep. right? He's yep. gonna be dealing yep. us our cards here in a second. Hopefully while I remove the animals. So oh, we wow, remove the crocodile. That is definitely a lot. And. Thank you. I'm going to give this one and discard all of these. Okay, so I removed all the animals. There you go. There you go. And now I just pick my card. Now I'm the first player. Oh, okay. 
first and player Anthony for gets rounds. the first player token. Okay, so I am going to hmm. you come oh, me where the leopard is? Almost completed. Oh wow. Need a leopard? Uh, you're blue, right? Yep. Okay. Is it my turn? Oh. Um the end of your turn. I'm gonna take an extra turn. Really? Five. Yeah, That's two coins. I'm gonna okay. do another leopard. Wow. And I completed a heart. There's only one? Dang. Wow. You have a lot of hearts. He has nine hearts. That's 37 points. What? Anthony's gonna get 37 bonus Okay, I points. need to get more hearts. That's for Luckily, sure. Luckily, he's way back here, so he may not win even though, even with that. Yeah. Do you have 17 cards? Yeah, I'm gonna get The one. less amount of cards gives me more points on this one. Really? Let me what? see. What? This is way better. How many do you have? I have, let's see, one, two. 11. Wow. And 45 bonus points for his card. No. Wow. Okay. <laughs> that scares me. Your turn, Quinn. Um, I'm going to get rid of all of them. What, these? One, two, three. You talking about these? What are you talking oh, about? Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. Shouldn't I have six, actually? Seven. I already... No, I used one. I already gave you one. Okay, so this? Mm-hmm. Because I thought, because your turn was over. Hey, you need to tell me, like, <laughs> as soon as you decide. I should go be fresh. So I need to remove, move you over no, you here. you said this. Oh, <laughs> that's not very specific at all. Really? There's, oh, well, two hearts. Alright. Okay, I'm going to take this one. Okay. So, two gazelles on there. And... Saw a single one of those out. I know one. the hyenas are hiding out this game. <laughs> I've needed so many hyenas. Yeah. Okay, so I am going to bring out an elephant. Okay. And he needs to be on the water to be adjacent to the zebra, and I obtained another heart. Okay. Wow. Well, so now we're close to Anthony. But <laughs> let's see. Let me look here really quick. This is going to be hard to beat him with all those bonus points he's getting. It's a lot of bonus points. Like a lot. Oops. You know? I don't know. I have to pay two if I do. Mm. No, I'm just going to... But I already took one action. Okay. All right. I think I'll pay an extra. You put me on the swap. Thank you. And I'm going to swap this. Alright. So you're done? Yeah. Okay. Make it sure. I'm going to swap this one. Oh, yes. Yeah, so it's gone with that. I need to have a hyena there. Okay, I'm gonna buy a card. Okay. I'm gonna purchase. Actually, no, that would be. I'm gonna refresh the the deck. Okay. Yeah. You sure. Why are you asking like that? Because she keeps changing her mind. Well, I'm I'm losing. I know I'm gonna lose some. It's a last ditch effort to try to complete some cards with the few coins we have left the at heart, the last no, round. No hearts. <laughs> so let's see. Uh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's no hearts up there. It's gonna be hard to beef him on those. Then you have like 12 hearts. Nine. Oh, okay. Well, I'm probably at 10. Mm. 
How many does that work? Okay, so I'm gonna wow. buy this one and I'm gonna buy an additional one for a coin. So I owe you another coin. Yep. Yeah. Let's see if I want any more. Mm. Okay, that's it. Okay, now I'm gonna wrap back to the action. My turn? Hmm? Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna buy. I'm buy this one. Your turn, quick. So I'm going to put one of the hyenas down okay. on a rock. So here you go, hyena. I'm gonna put down on this rock, and I finished this oh, one. Oh, you didn't give me my food, or him his SFX. We oh. forgot that. Oh, yeah. We forgot that. Wow. Yeah. I need more. Well, I'm gonna use the I SFX I gained to get... Uh, SFX. To change this one to anything, and I finished this one that's worth two hearts. Nice. Here we go. That's really good. Okay, so let me see which one... Four away, the hearts. Mm, I'm trying to I'm gonna use my food left. to bring this hyena over here, and I complete this one for three discovery. Okay. And this is way back over there. Then this one, I'm going to purchase a lion, or not purchase, discover it. Oh. And it has to yeah. be adjacent. Okay, it's your turn, Anthony. Okay. So. Okay. I'm, I'm going to swap. Can you give me the rhino? This one can? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, well, I don't need So, one. and I'm going to use my little thing here. And so I finished this. So I'm at 10 finally. Hearts. And it's your turn, Clinton. So I'm going to bring out a lion. Okay, so you are. Oh, you have to pick two. That's fine. Fine with me. Okay. Actually, no, I'm going to get this card first. I forgot that I need this card. Okay, you'd have that cost to... me one. Give no, me one. that would cost you two. Still? But it's an extra action. It's an extra. Oh, oh yeah, so two more. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna get this card as well, and I put that here. And then you do this. Okay. Plus, I do this one, which needs to be on water, but it's not. So I put my special effects, and I finish this one, which gives me eight extra points. Okay. They're adjacent, so even nine squares. And that one's already on it. Are they adjacent on the right terrain? Yeah, that one's on the right one, but that one's. Oh, yeah, you never mind. You did and your put... SFX. I forgot yeah. you had your right. superpowers. Here, okay. Here, give me the SFX. Okay. okay. Right Those here. are very helpful, huh? Those yep. SFX. Okay. And I get eight points. Yeah, I already did. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to. So coin. Let's keep moving around. Once you're better, are you done? No, it's not. No. It'll be so hard. I need to stop even looking at those. Okay, I want to refresh the, the pool. They, these are impossible. I, like it's, I have special effects, so they're so easy. Yeah, if I had special effects, it would be much easier. I haven't had any of those this game. Mm. Here's my coin. I'm only interested in the ones that get me points or hearts. Yeah. Okay. okay, so. So hard. The next one's giving me five of these things. Find it. Wow. Yeah, that was my one that I get. All right. Okay. Okay, I'm going to swap these two. And I get six points. Oh, no. 
You add six points. That's not good. Actually, he's pretty much won this game, I think. Was that six points? Yeah, he rolled 20. Oh. He rolled 26. All right. Okay, so all I can do is refresh the pool. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe a free heart or something crazy is already finished. <laughs> it's basically it's basically whoever beats him because he gets like eighty points or something. I don't know how many points he gets, but it's a lot with all his stuff. Is that what I already done? No, it's not. But all right, you're let me see. Let me see. I don't think any of these are already done. This one's done. Really? Yeah. Them? They're not on the right terrain, but you have SFX. Or yeah. are they? Oh, they are on the right terrain. All right. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Well, I finished it. And let's see. Let me look at the math equation on the bottom. <laughs> like oh, there are thing. some that. Oh, have this is this. a good one. Yep. He gets. The total of all these cherries, plants, and flowers times two. He has none. You don't have any? <laughs> but I have wild. That doesn't count. count. Wow. I, what? That would have helped me. I've got so many of those. You get nothing for that card. Is that the one you want? Um, no. Is there any others? This one already done? This one is stars, but... This one Let's done. see if this one's already done. Let's see. I need that. Lion on the grasslands or woods and then a jackal. Is there any jackals? They're over here. So no. you would need you would need a lion right here. Yeah, so you, actually you, no. There's none that you, you gotta get points right away. So you're Pretty much done. Okay. So you need to still pick one. I'm going to pick um uh, this one. Alright. Okay. Do you still have a turn? Yep. I kind of hope that you get this one so you can beat him. I don't think I'm gonna beat him. Okay. But I am gonna take that one. Yes. It's already done. Okay, so I have one, two, three cherries, two plants. One, two, three, four. So that's nine times two. That's 18. I get 18. And that was a free action. 18 points. So I'm at 78. Wow. You might have to beat him. I don't know. In my turn? No. Oh, including this card. I get two more. 80. I wow. didn't include that one. You're no, 80. I, that was my. Oh, I did take my basic action. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Let me. See if any of mine are completed. Hold on, because you guys have moved stuff. Yeah. No, they're not. Okay, I'm gonna uh, reshuffle this thing. Okay. I really hope you don't get never hard, or you're gonna get even more. Um, <laughs> I just hope you beat him. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna beat him. <laughs> He's gonna be over a hundred, I think. What? He's so little points, but his bonuses are crazy. Right. So, two, three, six, seven, I gotta keep that. Oh no! It doesn't matter what I get because I don't want to keep it. I just have to go for the highest point, which would be this one. Okay. So he's trying to keep us from getting that one with the points on it. Your okay, turn. I passed my turn. Amanda. Okay, my only option is to hope for luck. Why, reshuffle? <laughs> and reshuffle and okay. hope that one comes out with a lot of points. Come on. <laughs> that's already done. Yes. <laughs> I want you to beat him. There's no way I'm going to beat him. Yeah. This one's already done. Oh, it's for points. Okay. Yeah. It's only four. So I think there's only one that's done, and it's probably four points. Let me look at these two. Uh, what is that one? Plus, oh, minus six. What? Yeah, there are some with minus, so you have to pay attention to that. This one is done. This one is not done. So 
Four points. Four points. Okay. I've right. done a lot of those where okay. you just get points. All right, so we're done with the game. Yep. So count the hearts. Quentin okay, has so four. four. Quentin gets 10 bonus because he has four hearts. I have four hearts, so I get to add 10 to mine. I'm at 94. Um, <laughs> and then if you look at your specialist, I'm, mine doesn't do anything. I get 45. From the hearts? From your hearts? No, from this. What do you get from your hearts? Uh, my hearts, I get another 45, so that's 90. So what? 26 plus so 40. So 90. Plus 26. So he's only one. 116. Or 90. Yeah, 116. Wow. So he gets a hundred point one. And then he's at 116. And then I get stars based on how many cards. I don't think I met the goal. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eight, nine, ten. Oh, short two cards. I could have got 20 bonus. And that would have put me right here if I would gotten two more you, scenes completed. You still would have lost. I know. Mm. But yeah, this is a fun game. Oh, yeah. There's so much strategy. Yeah. And sorry I took a while some of my turns, but there's so much that you can do. And the animals are always moving. It's It keeps the game exciting. And then you, of course, have your award. Um, ceremonies that add to the game. Definitely, I would suggest learning the game and adding the specialist cards because it does make it more fun having that extra little bonus at the end that where Anthony, he swooped up. Look, he wouldn't have won at all. If he didn't have that specialist card, he would not have won. So it kind of gives you like superpower if you've got, if you happen to draw a really good um, specialist card. Quinn's was, seemed good, but Really, it wasn't because it was seven food tokens, but it didn't help you near the end. So we know that now. This is the first time we've played with the specialist cards because you get three and you get to choose one of them. So every time you play this, you're going to learn a different strategy that you didn't think of last time that's going to help you. And so it's it's a really fun game. My other ones weren't good either. <laughs> I got kind of unlucky on those. I hope that Kickstarter has more specialist cards. Oh, yeah. Because that yeah. would help tremendously. And, yeah. And keeping the game fresh and replayability. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I would definitely check this game out. Does it come out when on Kickstarter? I think it got pushed back a week. So it was originally um, uh, scheduled for the 25th, but it, I think I pushed back a week. I'm not sure. So on August, date. sometime in August? Probably. So beginning of August, um, it will be starting, but Anthony will put the link. They they already yeah. have their Kickstarter page up, right? Uh, they have a Kickstarter uh, where you can follow. They have where you can follow. So I would definitely follow that. So it'll keep you posted on when it starts. And, and I would definitely check this game out. Yeah, this it's, is a great it's, game. It's fun. And yeah. the components, this is just the prototype. So imagine how good the components are going to be yeah. in the actual Kickstarter version. I mean, they went all out on, like, I forgot we were playing a prototype. Wait, this is a prototype? Yeah. It's I amazing. actually yeah. forgot that because it's <laughs> so good. Normally yeah. prototypes, you're, you know, it's, yeah. and even the book, it says this is the prototype version of the rule book. So, and yeah. it's awesome. Like the rule book is for it's really good, and so I can't imagine how awesome the actual real version of the game is going to be. So definitely, definitely would recommend checking this out. So um, if you like this video, please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. We're always adding new com or <laughs> content. content. <laughs> Sorry, we're always adding new content <laughs> and um, playing new games. We're always getting the a lot of the latest games or games coming out. So um, we've, we're glad you watched and we look forward to seeing you next time. Bye. Bye.